what's going on youtube so if you're watching this video you're probably watching because you want to get this comptia security plus certification i'm going to teach you how in under less than one month i did this guys i know you guys can do it i'll give you the steps on how i did it and you'll soon see how easy it is to accomplish this certification and start earning money in it with little to no stress guys you need to hop on this all right guys so here we go i'm about to go over everything you need to pass this thing in under a month listen i literally started it um, back last year and i literally studied this for literally like a month had like a month of prior knowledge of it that's about it and i passed this thing in literally one try that that easy as you guys saw at the beginning of the video i literally showed you the certification but enough talk let's go straight into it so one of the first things i did to pass this is a lot of reading um i'll give you guys two good books i used uh to study up on this this is probably the best book you'll use here it's the comptia security plus get certified get ahead syo 601 study guide you're gonna need this i'll put the link in the description um so you guys can go ahead and purchase this and start studying for this guys um, one of the things I recommend, um, not only that, this book, this is the main book I recommend reading, like the main, main one, but also this Kali Linux one. Um, this, the test won't really have um, a lot of these advanced stuff, but this is just to get, you know, more in your brain, more knowledge uh, going on. And so you can understand all the topics and some of the commands you're going to have to see in the test. And I'll let you guys know right now, a quick tip. This test is basically knowing a lot of the acronyms. If you don't know none of the acronyms, you're going to be really uh, in trouble. But like I said, you're going to want to go ahead and for the first month, let's you got You guys got to set a month to get this thing done. So for the first two weeks, straight up just studying, understanding the material, I would go ahead and say, go ahead and read 40, 50 pages a day. Um, really study the material. Go ahead and go all the chapters. Um, this this book covers a lot, guys. Protecting against advanced attacks um implementing controls to protect assets uh securing hosting data securing your network network technologies and tools like you'll literally know almost everything uh after you read this book and a lot of people complain about this book is like a mile wide and an inch deep um i'm not gonna say it's not but this security plus is really just to get your foot into uh security into the it um so and like I said, a lot of jobs need this certification. So you're going to want to have this. Guys, if you have security plus and a um, security clearance, like if you're in the military, you're literally set. You're already done. That's basically the only cert you really got to worry about. I know a lot of people, that's that's all they have is a clearance, security plus, and they're already like making money in the bank. So you guys really want to make sure you get this certification, guys. Um, we're on the page right here. Um, I'll show you guys just the Amazon link. So like I said, I have the link in the bio. But this is literally just what I did. I just went ahead and purchased this, read all these books, guys. Um, like I said, 40, 50 pages a day. Make sure you're reading it, understanding the material. Um, after you understand the material, like I said, guys, after two weeks, you should be done reading everything, guys. Like literally every chapter of every book, you should have been done with that. It's only like a book. Um, like I said, the main one I recommend is that CompTIA Security Plus one. The Kelly Linux one It would be in addition to that. But that's the main one I recommend, guys. And after two weeks, you should be done with that if you're listening to my 40 to 60 pages a day um, guidance on that. Another thing you're going to want to do while reading um, every day is watch at least three to five uh, YouTube videos a day on this topic, guys. Literally just three to five YouTube videos a day on the CompTIA Security Plus. And like I said, this is just going to dump more knowledge into your brain. That's literally what I did. I just read a lot every single day and watch a lot of videos on the CompTIA Security Plus topics. This is going to help you pass the test in one try, guys. I promise you. So after reading and watching videos, it's going to be time to test your knowledge after those first two weeks. Now for that next week, you're just going to be straight up testing your knowledge. Go ahead. This book has questions. It comes with a, a pre-test that you're going to want to do uh, to test your knowledge at uh, at the beginning. It comes with a pre-assessment exam, guys. As you can see, I literally wrote up all over this thing. You're going to want to do the pre-assessment exam. And at the end, you're going to want to go back to that pre-assessment exam because it's more answers for you to practice, more questions for you to practice on. But after every chapter, it, it'll literally have about 10 to 15 questions for you to work on. So um, you want to be doing this. So as you read, you're, go you're going to want to do those questions to test your knowledge after every chapter. But after you read the book, after those first two weeks, you're going to want to go ahead and do all the um, questions 
at the uh, final exam. It comes about 70 or 80 on this book. And on the back, it'll let you know the preset exam answer. So you can go back and see if you got that question right or not. Um, after you do this, after you do the final assessment exam on this book, go ahead, go back and do the pre-assessment. Just go ahead, go back and forth, back and forth between those two. Why are you going to want to do that? Because it's going to drill in to your head all those questions and answers. Like I said, I literally took the test, guys. It's very similar questions and answers. So this is going to be very useful stuff. Um, one thing to also keep in mind, as you're taking those questions um, and doing those answers, go back and see what topics you did poorly on and go back and reread those chapters again to make sure you drill that knowledge into your head because you don't want to be going into that test that actual security uh come to your security exam and then you get in there like oh man i don't know this topic at all no you want to make sure you know everything uh very very detailed so go back into those topics that you don't know reread them and after you read it, read them, go ahead and do that assessment exam again. Well, one thing I did, even though I marked up all over the book, I don't care. I still went and did that and I'll cover like the answers, read the question and in my head, try to do the answer. Don't just try to memorize like, oh, this is A, B. No, try to memorize why it is what it is. And in that book, it does good at explaining why that answer is the answer for those questions. So that's why I highly recommend that book, guys. Like I said, the link is in the description for you to go ahead and purchase it. And what I recommend, guys, is for you to do these uh, practice exams from this book once in the morning and once at night. It'll take about 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes at night. But like I said, guys, if you really want to get into IT and start making this money, guys, you need this certification to start off. It's just, it is what it is. You need this certification. This is the main one everybody's chasing and that all organizations want to see an employee have. So this is the one you're going to want to get. And just, just to quickly show you, literally come to your security you need this certification, guys. Like, look how many jobs there are. Literally, over pages and pages of jobs uh, wanting this uh, certification. You're gonna need this certification, guys. Um, so, so guys, it's week the last week, week four. You already did two weeks to study up on the material, three weeks of testing your knowledge and rereading the topics you don't know. This last week, you're gonna want to watch as many videos as you can go ahead and reserve that um exam spot go ahead and reserve that exam spot so you can take your exam and just get ready don't at the last day the final last day or two don't try to like squish everything in if you don't know um if you don't know a topic you're not going to learn that in literally the day of the test just forget about it you needed to have known that before you're taking the test so make sure you like I said, read the topics well, understand what you're doing, reread them, what you don't know. And basically, you want to absorb all this knowledge in this month. Um, but after doing all this, you should be good to go and you should be ready to pass that exam, guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Guys, if you like this information, go ahead and like the video, subscribe. I'll also be posting more CYSA plus CCNA, all this stuff, programming, everything. I got you guys covered, guys.